I thought we were done with the heat wave. We were not done with the heat wave. Little did I know that the heat wave would come back with a vengeance. It's 34 degrees in this room. It's all right. I have a air cooler now, air conditioner. It's hot, but it's not as hot. You might be able to hear it, but I don't care anymore. Hello, every gravy baby body boby, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 video on the Hearts of Iron 4 channel, I Sorrow Productions. If you've been following this little series, you know we are doing Hoi 4 A to Z, a series where I play every single nation in Hearts of Iron 4 that starts on the map. And today is one I've been looking forward to for a while because I haven't really given this nation a proper vanilla try for a very long time. And oh boy. Boy, did I come up with a interesting little idea on what to do. Before we get into that, it's a quick word from our sponsor, Surfshark VPN. That's right, thank you very much, Surfshark VPN, once again, for sponsoring the channel. Protecting your online information has never been easier or more important. Surfshark has a lot of features that will protect your online information, such as the clean web tool, which will search any website you go on for malicious content. And being a VPN service, Surfshark allows you to access any content that may or may not be blocked in your area with a click of a button. And Surfshark VPN has over 3,000 different servers in 65 different countries for you to choose from. And on top of all of that good stuff, Surfshark allows you to access your Surfshark account on any number of devices. That's right, just one login for every single one of your devices. I use Surfshark every day of my life, which I am so happy to promote to you guys. And you can get yourself 83% off and a free extra month if you use my code ISP. All will be linked in the description down below. Get yourself started with Surfshark today. And for whatever reason if you're not happy with your service to Surfshark VPN you get yourself a 30 day money back guarantee so if you've ever been on the fence about using a VPN and you really wanted to get into it now is the time with Surfshark VPN and code ISP with those free extra months for free and 83% off so go ahead click it down below help support the channel help support me and uh, I'm sure you'll get a lot of use out of it just like I have so just like when I played Chile I want to go ahead and do something special for the communist Chinese who were going to be playing and back in the day Mao didn't look this fabulous he did not look this fabulous so with the waking the tiger was it waking the tiger all these hoi four dlcs have blended together i'm pretty sure it's waking the tiger that added all of these chinese focuses in specifically the communist chinese one which we will be playing today and uniting china under our communist authoritarian rule uh i mean uh the the uh, freeing liberation of peoples and workers around china please don't ban me from china china I love China. I love China so much, I know that Tibet is part of China. And I have something very special to do today in Hearts of Iron 4, where if you've read the title, you already know what's coming, and we're gonna make the most of it. So the thing about Communist China is they were pretty much on the brink of destruction at this point in history, and the only real relief came was with the fact the Japanese had to come spoil the fun. We just came back from a very long march across the country and China, and now we're here in the mountains of Shanxi. And as you can see we're not looking too fresh so the cool thing about all the chinese folks is that a lot of them and the warlords are pretty much the same if not the same and once they get through this they can get the big boy china focus tree but the communist one is actually different um obviously not this part this part is not different that's exactly the same so our opening moves from what i've kind of figured out here i'm not going off any guides or memory i'm just kind of winging it from what i see is we are just going to rush down to exploit the weak neighbors and try and get some land before things go a bit loco crazy hirohito tries to take over the world i will build Nothing. I feel like I'm being a bit optimistic already with this production line. <laughs> uh, Alright, these three factories will be the basis of our, not empire, uh, liberation movement. The uh, to total liberation. That's definitely the one. Now, we could do some border instance, but I think I'd prefer to have the political power and just invade these guys anyway, since we get, uh, free Cassus Bellies on them. So, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. Oh, those luscious locks. How could it all go wrong? Hey, let's hope this doesn't go terribly. Oh. Oh, my bad. I didn't know you were on our side. Not gonna bother actually uh, fighting these guys here. We're just gonna try and get around them and overwhelm them. Uh, you gotta, you gotta appreciate Shanzi. Like, oh, we lost our capital. Should we move it? Nah. We just won't have a capital anymore. Here you go. First conquest. 
donezo. And we'll use all the guns we just stole from them to make our army slightly bigger, but definitely not better. Next up, this guy's beer. We're also going to go ahead and justify on the Xinjiang as well, and hopefully get those guys in time too. There we go. Another one down. Look at that. We're huge. Uh, we've also got quite a bit of army XP, so what I'm going to do immediately is get some cavalry division because it's fast, and it also puts down revolts, which we won't need at the moment, but it is fast. I got so used to looking at the skeptical man over here, this is just not the same anymore, really. Not going to bother actually microing much over here because I do need the army XP for uh, improving my cavalry division a little bit, so we're just going to let these guys grind down for a bit. There we go, finish them off, and the Japanese just declared war on the Chinese. So there you go, I've actually joined the Chinese faction here, while well, I actually uh, made the faction by doing this focus, and I think we will be helping the Chinese at some point because I do want to kick the Japanese out sooner rather than later, but not just yet. You know what? Screw it. We're coming in. Let us in. First thing we are doing is just ramming our cavalry in there. They are fast as hell, boy. That's right. Let's get this front line nice and big, shall we? Point here isn't really to help as much as it is just to cause as much chaos as possible. So a pretty cool tip if you ever want to get free infantry equipment from the Soviets is to just put yourself in a deficit by building a whole bunch of units and then they'll just send you it through lend -leads. Sorry, Japan. It's time to go home. Yeah, I am kind of a pacifist in this war because I don't really want to fight the Japanese. I'm just politely walking around them. There you go. We got ourselves the white piece. And because we took all the land up here, we get Manchuria. 1940 is not a bad year. It gives us a bit more time for us to deal with stuff like... Invading the rest of China. Now, this is a bit of a pipe dream, but I do want to get started on tanks ASAP. Although, how safe I'd feel in a communist Chinese tank in 1940? Not too safe, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It's weird. Apparently, I can build in Korea. I don't own Korea. I... I can delete factories. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, I'm assuming that's bugged somehow from the scripted peace deal i kind of wanted to invade korea which i can't and i guess technically i own it so oopsie daisy there you go just to make it a bit more fair i will release them as a puppet just um so we get the man himself kim il sung welcome to the party so just gonna eat up some more land while we can while we're uh, you know building up an actual army to take down china my sugar daddy is joseph stalin <laughs> oh you're not gonna do too well against germany if i keep taking all your equipment but i don't care uh, i'm just gonna try and milk as much equipment out of them as we can before we finish off to bet here and we'll see what we can get building so we've stolen a nice hefty chunk of soviet equipment so much so that a lot of my army is mostly Soviet equipment. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll pay you back, Stalin. Just, uh, well, if you're alive after what's coming. And uh, now after making a few new divisions that are actually semi-decent, we are going to go ahead and finish off China, which uh, you should probably send these guys back home. But our goal of, well, putting everyone in China in the army, which was kind of the whole point of the video, but also just making a massive communist China is going along quite well. Smell you later, China. The thing about kicking them out of our faction is that we still do have the rest of these guys left to actually help us out, which will split their army me up quite nicely. Now, whether or not these guys actually survive, don't care, because I'm going to annex them too. In we go. Well, at least you don't have to worry about being in a shoddy Chinese tank, because these, uh, well, they were scammed out of the Soviets. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> you're getting invaded. You do know you're getting invaded, right? You should probably keep a hand of those yourself. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe in a minute. Maybe in a minute. So because I've done one China now, I'm pretty sure I got kicked out of my own faction, which is great. Now they own it. Right. China unified almost. Oh my God, Japan. You got kicked out of China so easy. Yeah, here you are. <laughs> round two. Absolutely dominating. And it doesn't look like the Soviets are having much of a hard time against the Axis either. In fact, the Allies have already retaken a bit of France there, so... Yikes. So I'm actually going to try stage a incident at the Yunnan border here. Don't know if we'll get anywhere with it. If not, I'm probably just going to invade them. But look at that. 
I think we can go higher, though. Are we actually going to win? I never usually win. It usually goes terribly. But I've... We won! I mean, I could have just invaded them. It makes no difference. You know, they, they added it to the game for a reason. So, <laughs> gotta use it. Well, I guess I'm just gonna finish the job. Oh, I didn't even have to move an inch into Yunnan. All I had to do was get rid of these guys and the war was over. Big China! And you know what? It's looking pretty fresh. 75 million manpower. It could be higher though. And for that to happen... Gonna need to negotiate with the devil here. Oh, don't mind if I get involved in World War II, eh? Now, I can up my conscription even higher. Also means I can start uh, requesting some lend-lease from my fellow allies against the German menace. I got nothing better to do with these troops than have them attrition through central that's the best path you guys chose to get over here really you just hit 80 80 million manpower ready to conscript right there could be higher though really just a, just a little switch just a it went up by one million <laughs> it goes up by a million a tick i think turkey's stealing my idea of naval invading germany um they are a little bit ahead of me though because i have yet to invent boats <laughs> um, you could always just use a bit more manpower. Oh well, Sam just stole my idea. I guess I'll just send my troops over and go try and help. Oh, and you've got 87 million manpower in the bank right now. There's no real reason not to just let your troops endlessly grind in the hopes that we might get- Oh, we've got one more participation, everyone. Give myself a clap on their back. Oh, there you go. 91 million. <laughs> hey. Oh, I got a player left peace conference on. Uh, we could do some memes here. Oh, actually, no, I don't think I, I want to keep it just to China. So I'll just give it up to everyone that actually did the work and didn't just come in at the last minute and throw a million Chinese people at the front line, okay? Our job here is done, so You're welcome, Europe. We definitely did all the work here with our 93 million Chinese people. Uh, a lot of people wanting me to ease up conscription, but I'm not quite ready yet. Come on, we're so close to 100 million. Oh, why? Well, I think World War III just kicked off. Yes, it did. Soviets probably just invade. Yep, they invaded Afghanistan and ran in Iraq. Uh, well, that's not really my problem. Uh, I'm more interested in the fact that I'm about to get 100 million manpower. Um, it's a little bit interesting considering I annexed you a good few years back. Oh, there you go. 10. I now have 10 manpower. There you go. Free manpower, 100 million. Total manpower, 106 million people in vanilla. That's pretty good. But uh, I guess we should probably do something with all this manpower, right? I mean, you can't just leave it sitting around doing nothing. It's time for you guys to do some work. That'll do. All right, gonna need quite a few of you guys, I think. Uh, look at that. The great Chinese horde getting ready to be built. And now, because these guys only require actual guns, we're not producing anything but actual guns now, and that's 75 military factories on guns. Uh, we're, in a, we're in a slight deficit, but nothing that's not unfixable. In fact, we could speed this process up by doing a little exploit. Stop doing that, then we'll create a brand new division with just one little guy in it. And then I think we'll need quite a few of these guys, so everyone join the army. Just need one guy for an entire brigade. Oh, I just got an auto clicker, clicker to um, speed this up a bit. And the game can't quite <laughs> handle... Uh, how many times I just clicked by looks because I've stopped clicking a while back. There you go. We've hit the cap of 4,418 divisions. All right, there's a high chance me deploying these guys is going to crash the game considering I can barely scroll down here without it chugging up. But uh, we've got to wait for these guys to get ready to deploy. And then when we deploy them, we'll switch them to our really massive division. And the war is not going too great, by the look. All right, so just before we do any of this, by the way, I'm minus 550k in the hole right now in uh, our guns. So we'll see what happens after I deploy the horde, if I can, without crashing. Uh, taking me so long to actually deploy these things, uh, there's only 325 left, thankfully, that uh, we've actually missed the downfall of the Russians, because I just went AFK. And this 
is cursed beyond belief. And apparently, they've just kind of let Japan do whatever they want because they are going wild. Uh, we, we've actually been going so long now that I have I've almost caught up on my deficit, but that's going to change as soon as I change all of these unit templates, I imagine. Right, the time has finally come. 5,000 divisions, which are mostly, uh, for the, well, I say mostly, literally 95% of them are just this trash little guy sitting there with 100 PPSH 41s. How do you get a hold of those? Oh, we just make them. We make a lot of them. Uh, oh boy, that is about to change. <laughs> we need. <laughs> oh, the, the game's not, mo not not moving. Oh, the game has moved. It is done. Oh my god, they're all updating. There we go. Oh my god, that is <laughs> monstrous. Hey, you know, just uh. Missing a casual 2.1 million guns for my massive 80 million manpower. By the way, that hasn't actually updated the manpower yet. Um, assuming because we're still calculating getting them all in there. Oh, wait, no, no. They're getting in. They're getting in very quickly. Manpower is going down. <laughs> all right. So question is, now that we have a army of 5,000 divisions with 69... Wait, sorry. Was it 85? 80 million people in the, the actual army. Will... Japan actually accept our request for us to vassalize them in the dominate Japan focus. Uh, I'll go ahead and wait a bit until all the manpower is in the units and they, they're all just dying because there's so many of them. Oh my god, okay, I just had a full bat line all around the country. Oh, yeah, I'm just like looking into the matrix. Oh my god, this was a terrible decision. Uh, this is a terrible, terrible decision. Oh my god. Okay, any guns that we might have, uh, just very quickly every second just blowing up in the hands of all of our units who are losing them to attrition i'm trying to like understand how i'm losing guns to attrition in my own land if you think about it i'm only losing it because there's so many of us just standing around but how would that cause you to drop your gun like you're all just in a big huddle you know everyone's cr cramped together like sardines and I don't know, the gun slips out of your hand and gets absorbed into the mob. I, how does this work? Uh, I, I don't think attrition makes much sense in OI4. I'm going to be real with you. Okay, we got like, we got half of them in the unit so far. We're just going to go for the focus and see if they accept. Oh my god. Where did all my manpower go? Oh, <laughs> uh, I think Japan said no. Apparently they weren't too scared of my threat, which makes sense don't have much of a fighting force here. I just for the joke of it, I don't think I'm gonna go finish this war. I think we are done here. We've done everything we, we needed to do, but I will declare war on Japan and let my garrisons just go take care of it. Oh, I say take care of it. There's, there's a lot of lag happening right now. Yep, the horde is moving out. Oh my god, imagine being a Japanese soldier just watching hordes of people without guns run down a hill. Oh my god, I am just overwhelming pretty much the whole line here i don't know how this is working but it's working somehow uh, i think we are done though i i can't look at this this horde of locusts move across the countryside anymore devouring the japanese where they go uh, the weird thing is i don't think yeah you know, like all the units haven't even turned up yet there's there's 5,000 units right here. Well, 4,999 appears one of them died. Uh, you're looking at like 100 million men just... <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but it's not good. Uh, surprisingly, only lost 400,000 people so far. I was expecting it to be a lot higher than that. And you know what? We gotta do more interesting stuff in a hoi 4 a to z like this because watching... 100 million Chinese people devour the Japanese is pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe button down below and get ready for more Hoi 4 A to Z. Trying to upload a bit more, but the sun is killing me.